In today's video, I will show you my brand new updated bad business settings and also announcing my brand new setup sheet in the description below. It's been a while since I made a settings video, so I decided to make an updated video with all my new and updated settings. Let's get straight into it. So for my sensitivity, first of all, I put it at 0.1 on Roblox and I use 800 DPI as well. And I also have a custom mouse acceleration curve, which I'll be leaving in my discord for you to see. And now let's get into the actual real settings. So toggle screen is disabled. I got toggle lean enabled so that I don't have to hold the um, Q and E keys. I have toggle lame and auto lean disabled. Max FOV in for camera disabled. Now for the sensitivity, I changed that a lot. I now use 70 and 65 instead of 81 and 75. Because I thought that I might lower it a bit since I came back to the game and my sensitivity just felt a bit too high. Now for scopes, I don't really use scopes but I have it at 59. Scope sensitivity, 100. And for controller, I don't use controllers. I still have the same crosshair as before. You can pause the video and just copy the settings that I have for it. Now for the keybinds, I have it at default WASD. Space to jump, left shift to sprint, crouch is C, prone I have it on X and I have it binded to left control as well so that not only I can use X to like just super jump like I would usually do but also left control so that I can just drop shot easily by just moving my pinky finger. Q and E to lean, uh, the buttons are still the same, same for this as well. Now for map textures, disabled. I got disable ragdoll on as well. Disable arms, I keep I I have it disabled so that I can actually see my arms. Simplified outfits, I have it disabled so that when I choose with somebody, I can actually see the outfit. So that I don't accidentally shoot them. And all of these effects, I have them disabled. Because they just take up a bit too much performance, in my opinion. And so for this export code, I'll be leaving it in a pinned comment, I think. So yeah, and now for my setups, I will be leaving a setup sheet down in the description below or you can join my discord server if you want to see all of my other setups so that you don't have to actually go on Google. And yeah, that's about it guys. Now I did forget some settings that I forgot to mention in the video, but if you actually want to find those, you can join my discord server as I've got all of the missing things right there. I got the custom acceleration curve which I was talking about, I got a bunch of different other settings on there so I highly recommend that you actually join it so you can have all of my settings and all the other things I forgot to mention in the video. But yeah that's about it for my brand new and updated settings guys. I'd like to thank you for watching the video and I've got a bunch of more videos coming along the way so I have a holiday break as well and yeah guys I'll see you in the next video. Peace!